right, so the path to UFC welterweight gold, of course, goes through the UK, courtesy of Leon Edwards' win over Kamar Usman, but he's got to keep the focus where it belongs. He's got another hungry young challenger in front of him tonight. Yeah, and, and Leon Edwards is one of those guys that can lock in. He's one of those guys that doesn't seem to me now from the outside to be a guy that falls in love with everything that comes with being the champion. He lives in the now, and he will have to do exactly that if he wants to retain his championship tonight. He's got to he's got to be able to use his boxing. Leon Edwards is fast. Oh yeah. Everything he does right, he's crisp, he's sharp, and he uses all of his tools. He is really the definition of mixed martial artist, and that will have to be on display tonight if he wants to keep his championship. You're right, and he may not wow you with muscle mass, but this is quite a frame for the UFC's welterweight division. And Leon Edwards has all eyeballs on him here tonight. Decorated lightweight champion Islam Makhachev. This is one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world. Such a nuanced game on the ground. Outstanding striker as well. And puts his belt on the line yet again tonight. Yeah, you know, Johnny puts his belt on the line. This guy, this guy does everything so well. He's so well rounded. He's so skilled. He's so gifted. And he is so confident in his ability to go and get you. It's that simple. I'm going to get you. I'll get my hands locked. I'll throw you to the ground. And I will make you engage with me on my terms. That has allowed him to become the champion. And tonight, he has even more of an advantage because there's the boy, Hasbula. Hasbula entrenched in the corner of Islam Makashev. And we'll probably have a photo shoot later if fans are interested to see how it goes for the for this welterweight fight. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Leon Rocky Edwards. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Islam Makachev. Herb Dean, our referee for this Ready. one. Leon Rocky Edwards, the perennial welterweight contender, still criminally underappreciated for my money. I just feel like people don't give him the credit he deserves for just the overall mixed martial arts game and acumen. And when we talked to him about his striking this week, he said, hey, come on, man, I can grapple too. We'll see how he chooses to proceed tonight. So there it is, as he expected, the takedown defense would be there. Oh, right on the button. I mean, perfect liver shot. That is the most debilitating shot in all of fighting. It is very difficult to recover from that. Big right hand. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss by Israel Fasha. And he comes through with a big knee. And now a left. Not much behind the takedown offering there. That is a hard left hand that lands for Leon Edwards. And as usual, DC, letting his fighting do the talking tonight. Letting his fight do the talking means all business. He's a businessman. He's here to win, go back to England and do his thing with his family. He's not going to be on TV hooping and hollering. He's a guy that's here to do his job and then go back home until he gets his title. 
Islamakashev going for the takedown, but unable to land. Right, nice early head kick for the champ, Leon Edwards. He waited a little bit to throw that weapon against Kamaru back in the day. No hesitation here early in this. He's hurt. He's hurt. Oh, got to keep pressing here. Oh, that's going to soften him up. Massive knee to the body. Massive knee to the body. Really. All right, so another good series of knees by him there, DC. That has been his weapon of choice tonight. Weapon of choice because his opponent has not figured out where the knees are coming. High or low, every time he throws it, they're landing. Jack is on point right now. He checked that last one. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big hook. Back and forth we go. Oh, that was beautiful. Big right hand there. Oh, nice level change. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back. Oh, he's attacking choke now. Ooh, that submission looks tight. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and the show in that defense. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Islam Akasha. Edwards trying to make some of these ground strikes count. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Oh, nice. One minute. Edwards is back into full guard. Oh, good defense, yes. We need to work on this position. 30 seconds to go in this one. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Islam Makhachev. Where's your guard? Waning seconds here of this opening round. Great shot from the top position. He's very accurate in the ground and pound, and it's showing because he's landing so consistently. Round two straight ahead. All right. Listen, you got to protect the body. He's landing way too many body shots. What is that about? All right? You're way too good for that. Protect your body. All right, so there's the end of the round. The big moment in it, of course, the shot to the liver that buckled his opponent. He heard it bad. He went right to the liver. Boom, landed it on the sweet spot. And was very surprised that opponent, his opponent was able to stand up to him. But he's going down the right path. He needs to continue to throw these strikes to the body. You ready to fight? You ready? Round two is underway. All right, next round is underway. Nearly got the oh! Serve him up. Go get him. Ooh! Just missed with that right hand. Hook to the head by Islam Makasha. Upstairs. Takedown defense is there. Oh, he stunned him with that knee to the head. Oh, 
push kick there to the body. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, beautiful level change. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. And look at him attacking the arm triangle on the other side. He's gonna lock him down, try to pass all the way across his body. Once he gets across, you gotta be kidding me, he's out. He needs to work. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. All right, so the hands are crispy tonight. Not exactly what we thought we would see out of this wrestler, but as a former two-time U.S. Olympian yourself, this means <laughs> can fall in love with this. He can fall in love with the striking, but he is showing tonight that he's got that arm triangle. Watch him pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight to try to finish his technique. Oh, that's got to be it. Oh, he Look. escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Edwards is in half goal. His right eye's closing up. Two minutes. Look at that. Recognizing he's about to lose position. Great defense by the defensive fighter. In the half guard. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is hell on wheels. And right now he is showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. All right, opens the guard, now stacked guard. He starts to posture here. Oh. He's over his opponent, dropping big ground and pound. Side control now. Great submission defense. Under a minute now to go in the round. Here we go. One well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Islam Akasha. All right, it's a good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, man, another ground strike gets through. It's going to be Motrin in the morning. The swelling starting to appear. Nice. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler's guard choke tip here. That guard choke is tight. Right. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round, so the what, fighter was what, really what? caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So, back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the horn. Let us now look back at some of the action in that round, DC. And he had his takedown game going early and off. Yeah, he had it going great. I mean, he did a great job of finding his entries, rushing to his finishes before his opponent could react and defend him. He should be very proud of the work he did over the course of that last round. Makasha gets caught by the inside.
odd leg kick. Try to establish that jab. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Oh, Edwards goes high, and he does not miss with the head kick yet again. He does many times. When he throws that strike, he usually throws it with the intent to land it. He doesn't throw it as a feeler. He's so good at getting to this position, at getting to this head kick, that when he throws it, he intends to end your night. And once again, it lands. Here's Lamakashev going for the leg kick. He misses. Oh, man, look how quickly he gets that foot to the target. There's that patented single. Makashev's back in half guard, very comfortable here. Oh, right into Mount. Relentless pressure from the top by Islam Akasha. Oh, getting leaky now. The hard ground and pound has opened up a cut. Nice positional control here. Mm, that was nice. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Islam Akasha. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Oh, it's tight. How in the world did he escape that submission? You need to work. I'll stand this up. Let's work. Well, sometimes our stat guys are stingy with the submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler. And he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying out of those submissions. Hammer fist here by Edwards. Oh, good shot landed there from the bottom. Now he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Submission attempts in bunches. Another one here. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke lock there. Attacking all that. Oh, he got out. How good is that? Work. This guy Work. is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Edwards. Oh, slick reversal right there. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Edwards is in half guard. There it is. Now he's going to mount. I mean, way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. Well, he's no stranger to being in this position. Strong work from the top here by Islam Makasha. Beautiful ground strikes landed. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Every strike he lands, that cut gets worse. Yeah, it's getting worse. And he needed to address it a little bit sooner because now that damage is starting to pile up. Attacking armbar. He's got it isolated. Had the submission in very tight, but as it started to slip, he went right back to the dominant position. Makashev's back in full match. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Not there yet, but might get the submission here shortly. Islam Akashev, ground and pound from half goal. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books.
really good work. Way to control from the top. I need you to work to pass that line. All right, well, defense wins championships, and perhaps he can shore some things up there. Here are some replays from the damaging previous round. Well, he's got to. He's got to change some things if he doesn't want this cut to get worse. But hats off to his opponent. His opponent found the target. His opponent knew exactly what he wanted to accomplish, and he got it done. He's got to continue down the path in order to make the cut worse. Ready to fight. Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Overhand punch to the head, blocked though by Edwards. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him, he hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now, Pass to try to find that shot again. Working off the jab, it's good. My champ's starting to see some swelling upstairs now. Well, he's taking way too many shots to the head. You gotta move your head. You cannot be on a straight line. Otherwise, you will take shots, and that shot, and no shots, leads to your face starting to swell. Ah, he's been working hard to fix it. Oh, great technique on the overhand. Now he's hurt. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, if you get in the night, that one landed right on the spot. Go, go, go. Finish it. Go. Well, why fix what's not broken? Why not go right back to that overhand here again? Go back up. Push oh, head kick, bang. Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. Yep, that guillotine's deep. Oh, looks like he's countering here with maybe a Von Flu. He's got the side mount, and now all of a sudden his opponent's in trouble. May want to bail on that guillotine sooner rather than later. Oh, somehow he's having to leverage a hip. Looks like he's going to get out. Yeah, he did a really good job there of creating action, getting his body off to one side as he's bridging, then back into him to release a little bit of that pressure on the Von Flu choke. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Islam Makashe. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, perhaps it's a high fight IQ, perhaps it's obvious, but he is attacking that cut that is getting deeper by the minute. And it seems like the right decision because you can see his opponent starting to paw at it. You can see it starting to take an effect. It's messy. Oh, arm triangle. Arm triangle. Arm triangle. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. He needs to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes Oh, somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission, D. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. Edwards is attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Ninety seconds to go on the round. Big ground and pound. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Are right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. On oh, another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Makashev's back in half ball. Wrestling transitions are beautiful. These guys are really getting after him. Makashev's right back to the full mount here. Oh, he's going for his arm now. It's tight. It's tight. Oh, he's going to submit. Oh, somehow, somehow, he got out. 
these guys are back and forth in submission defense wins this transition. Fighter trying to pass here, Uba gets denied. Gets denied, great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Well, the striking clinic continues and he's wise to attack that already damaged area upstairs. He's attacking that damaged area for the opponent. He's got to get that head moving on an X. He cannot be straight on the center line. That center line, you've got to get off of it. You cannot go forward without moving your head. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four, 20 minutes in the books. So there is the horn standing ovation from this capacity crowd. Mere knockouts by both fighters. Probably the best round we've seen thus far this year. Oh, man, this is the best round of fighting that I have seen for a very long time. Why did the bell have to stop? Let's just go 10 minutes straight. Pride rules. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what you, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can Ready get it fight. back together before Ready. it started the next round. Fifth and final round. Well, this is crazy that this fight is still going on. An appreciative crowd obviously getting behind both fighters. Both guys just brawling like crazy in that previous round. They both came with an idea that they were collecting $50,000 next to dollar. And right now, I am certain that they're both to see that check. Finish the fight. South position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Lands with the ground and pound. These ground strikes are starting to add up. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Just misses there with the left. Well, I'm no analyst, but this fighter is completely out of gas. Hasn't managed his tank well at all. And to compound matters, he's getting cooked on the scorecards. I mean, he is getting outclassed right now. He's tired. He's beaten. His mind is starting to go, too. This is not a good predicament for this fight. Three minutes now to go in this one. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock them out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. Makashev's definitely doing that on purpose, targeting the same eye over and over again, and he's continuing to cause damage. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Two minutes now to go in the fight. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Edwards. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment. Yep.
Akashev's able to make a nice transition there back into side control. Oh, what do we got here? Looks like an arm triangle attempt. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. Oh, he got out. Good work, guys. Come on. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Great job landing from the top position. All right, dominant position for him here. Full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, Edwards is trying to lock up on a submission now. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. Great job maintaining position over submission. Very smart. Great fight IQ. Edwards has got the full mount. He's got to be careful here. Only 10 seconds remaining. You got to do it. Waiting seconds of this fight. But at least staying busy on the bottom. What a fight! 25 minutes turned in! All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Islam Malkachev. All right, no surprise as the wrestler gets it done on all three scorecards against the kickboxer. Crowd was loving the kickboxer walking out. Now they're showing their appreciation for the wrestler after a most dominant performance tonight. Expectation versus reality. Yeah. The expectation was that the kickboxer was going to do something fun. But the reality was it was this wrestler's night. And look at him now, taking it all in as he earned that unanimous decision.